Hi, and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the basics of using Screencast-O-Matic, which is both a screen capture recorder, and it can also record this, talking videos. So I got started with Screencast-O-Matic several years ago when I launched into online course creation, and I found that there were some tools like Camtasia that, or ScreenFlow for Mac that were much more advanced than what I needed at the time. So I actually got started with Screencast-O-Matic, and to this day I actually use it for most of my course content and tutorials. There is a free version with some limitations, but not bad if you just want to try it out. But get this, the pro version is $15 a year. A year. So I use that for a lot of my course creation, uh, video course creation, so I create videos and I can have the uh, the little picture in picture of me on the screen while the slides are going through or while the video screencast is going through. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of how I do it and some of the basics of getting started with Screencast-O-Matic. Let's get started. So to get started, you're just going to go to Google and type in Screencast-O-Matic and it should be the first one, screencast-o-matic.com and that'll take you over the Screencast-O-Matic uh, website. So from here, you actually don't have to set up an account. You can just start recording if you want. Although I would recommend setting up an account because you are probably going to want to upgrade to the pro version for $15 a year. But if you just want to get started, you can start recording now. So to sign up for an account, you just click on sign up. Go here and you can either sign up with Google or you can sign up using your email. In this case, I'm just going to click on start recording and it's going to take me over here. So obviously you can launch the free recorder or you can go pro for only $15 a year and I will drop a link in below as well. And for transparency, if you do use my link to sign up, I will receive uh, affiliate credit for that sale. So once you've signed up, you're going to want to launch the recorder and that's gonna want to install some software into your computer. You do want to agree um, in order to do that because without the download of the software, you actually can't do anything with Screencast-O-Matic. If you scroll down the page here a little bit, there are some feature tutorials that are really good for getting started. But in this case, I have actually already downloaded this, obviously, because I use it. So I'm going to zip back over to my Screencast-O-Matic and show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in Screencast-O-Matic. So basically at the bottom of your desktop, you're going to find a little blue, uh, looks like a bullseye icon here, and that is where Screencast-O-Matic will live. So it's really easy to pull up when you want to. So I've just pulled it up here, and what you're gonna see is my recordings, uh, the ones that I have maybe not edited or have just kept on here for now. Um, up at the top, you're going to see the record button, so when we're ready to start recording, we'll hit that. You've got a scripted button here, and you can actually write out scripts for your um, different audios or different videos that you're going to do and follow along. And you can also import videos into Screencast-O-Matic and edit there. So let's start by doing a recording. So I'm going to click Run Record here. And you can see that you can either record your screen. So I'm just going to move this around. Let's say I just want to record that section there. Um, I could just record the screen. I could record the webcam only. And it's actually not going to show here because I'm using another screencasting software to show you how to do this. But normally this would be your face right here. And then you've got the option of both. So you've got your face in the corner and you can move this around. And then you've also got the screencast behind you. So I often do that in my technology tutorials. Okay, so when you are ready to record, you can set the maximum time here if you want a, uh, a timer. It's going to show you the size that you're currently recording in, but you can choose that um, and choose to change that here. You've got your narration, so this would be choosing your audio. And then you've got whether you want your whether you want it to record computer sounds or not. So you can have this set at uh, yes or no, and then under your preferences, you can set your things like hotkeys. So in this case, let's do a uh, let's do both. Now again, it's not going to show up with my image here because I'm using a different screencasting software, so it's already using the camera that I would normally use um, to record this section here. So I'm just going to X that out. When I'm ready to start, I just click record. It gives me a little countdown. I can do my screencast, type in whatever I want here.
Okay, I'm just going to make this, the screencasting screen a little bigger. There we go. We're going to start recording again now. Okay, so let's say I was going to walk my students through um, maybe how to use one of my courses or how to sign up for one of my courses. So this is a great um, this is a great way to be able to do that. So I've got my course. And I'm going to walk them through this. Blah, blah, blah. I do my screencast. And then when I'm done, I press the pause button at the bottom. At this point, you can either turn on draw and zoom. So there's a little pencil here. And you've got some draw and zoom options up here about what you want to do with it. So let's say I want to just highlight that section here. I could do that. Um, let's say I wanted to draw. I can do that as well. There's different drawing options. Um, so that's an option. Then you can delete everything and start over. Or if you like the way it looks, you're just going to click on done. Now it's going to take you into the editing box for, for this video that you've created or the screencast that you've created. So from here, you can either save it. You can upload it to Screencast-O-Matic um, as a video if you have the pro version of Screencast-O-Matic. That means that you can upload some of your videos there and lead potential clients there via email or it would be like a in, instead of uh, uploading to YouTube and having a private or an unlisted video, you could upload to Screencast-O-Matic, get your own link to that particular video, and share that with those that you want to share it with. Otherwise, it's private. So let's say I want to go ahead and edit this now. So I'm just going to click on Edit. I'm going to click, click on Play. I can do my screencast, type in whatever. Okay, so I walk through to the part, let's say I want to cut this section out. I can see that this section doesn't have any or any audio in it. So I'm just going to click there and I'm going to click on Tools and I'm going to click on Cut. And I'm just going to edit that part out, let's say, and click OK. So it's now cut that section out. Now there's other tools that I can use. Maybe I want to speed up this section of the video. I'm just going to rearrange that to where I want to. And the way to do that is I just click anywhere on this and press play. And then I know where I want to stop. Let's say there I want to stop and I'm just going to pull that back and click OK. So the other tools that are available here, so you've got cut, you can cut out sections of your video. You've got copy, so you can copy and paste um, different sections from your video into other sections if you want to. You can hide the cursor or the webcam in certain sections or your entire video if you change your mind after. You can insert a new recording. Um, you can you know, import an existing recording that you've got or a video file. Um, you can narrate over sections of the video or the whole video. You can blur out sections. You can add images or arrows or highlights or text. You can replace a video or freeze a frame. You can speed up or slow down certain sections. You can do a transition where it fades to black and then fades to the next section of the video. And you can alter and adjust the volume. So once you're done doing your editing, you simply click on Done. Save as a video file. Put in the file name, whatever you want that to be, and save to the folder on your desktop that you want to save it to, and then click on Publish. Then you can just continue in the background and minimize this while you're doing something else. So really, that's all there is to it. I'd love to know if this was helpful to you and if you'd like to see more tutorials on film editing and how to edit content, videos, PowerPoints, etc. for your online courses. Just leave a comment below with your questions and let me know. And don't forget, if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe.